says, my mom, my mother-in-law says, you must not sweep after Maghrib. What does Islam say about this? This is a misconception that a lot of the people in the subcontinent have. And in Islam, I can make up things like crazy. It's not permissible to drink green tea after Maghrib. Oh, what can I drink? Only coffee. And this is baseless. But if I say it to people and they buy it, <clears throat> what can, we, can be done about it? Akhi, Islam is a religion of common sense, of logic, that is based entirely on evidences. You cannot speak of thin air and come up with a resolution or a verdict and say, Simon says, do this. So you tell me, I can't sweep after sunset? Show me the evidence. There's none in the Quran or in the Sunnah. So this is bogus. I will not accept this. People say, on Wednesday, you can't clip your nails. SubhanAllah, why? Hairdressers and, and, and body cure and manicure are, are not working on, on Wednesdays? Hello? So all of these things are rubbish. They're baseless. I got a question the other day, <clears throat> maybe today or yesterday, stating that my mother-in-law says that dragging your feet, because my shoes are heavy, I can't lift my foot up, so I drag my feet and this makes a scratching noise on the ground. Some people are lazy, you know, they, they pull their legs on the ground. And she says to me, this is prohibited and sinful. I said, why? She said, because you're hurting the ground. <laughs> yeah. Did the ground complain to you? So if we dig the earth to, or plow the earth to plant seeds and crops, this hurts the earth? What, what is this? So don't listen to nonsense, especially that which the elders say without any evidence from the Quran or the Sunnah or the books of fiqh or the people of knowledge. They just make up stories and, and the likes and it has no foundation, none whatsoever. No